really happy that we uh, were able to start off our uh, conference with a home match. So we're just really happy that we were able to play here at home and real happy with our performance and able to come home with a 3-0 um, win and start off our conference. So really proud of the girls' performance tonight. Joy, just as you guys start the you know second half of the season, the, the new season to Ono, um, it's sort of an up and down non-league schedule. How do you feel you guys were able to reset and you know sort of start off on the next part of the season? You know, I, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of an odd schedule playing on a Tuesday uh, after a three three matches, uh, but we're really proud of you know the girls. We had a, a practice uh, yesterday. Uh, we're a little bit worn out, but I thought today, you know, our per performance wasn't our best, but I think we had a nice spread offense. Our setters were doing a lot of things that we've been practicing, and uh, we're just happy with the win. Coach, uh, last year you guys went into the conference play 3-10, and 10, but this year you guys have a much better record of 8-5. and five. How do you think this team feels going into conference play this last record? Well, I think, you know, if we're comparing both seasons, we had a lot of injuries last year. I think one of the big things for us is that we are healthy and we're taking care of our bodies. We came in a lot stronger this season. Uh, I think with our play over the last two weeks that we've built a lot of confidence and trust in each other and, and we're playing at a, a high level. Um, it's definitely nice that we played against the teams that we did um, in non-conference. Kind of um, gave us a gauge for the ceiling that we have the potential to break. Um, obviously, we would have much rather came out of non-conference undefeated, but playing the games that we did play um, and knowing that we can compete with the best of the best um, gives us a well amount of confidence going into conference. and. Um, just ready to compete and take on whoever is across the net. Joy, this year you guys have like a good mix of uh, younger players and veteran players out there. How do you think the younger players have adjusted to like throughout the season so far? Uh, you know, I think our leadership is is um, strong. We've got Tyler and we've got Haley. We've got Meg Crudoff. We got Emma, fifth year senior. Uh, Gigi's a um, you know, fifth or a libero that's a senior, uh, but our leadership is really strong. So I think they're helping our, our freshmen. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on them to perform, uh, but you know, our, our upperclassmen are taking a, a, a big load in what they're uh, doing out there. And I think it's, you know, taking a little bit off of our, our freshmen and, and, and they're able to perform and have a good time out there. Yeah, I thought our service Eve was pretty, um, I mean, what's the word? Solid. I Solid. Mean, we're middle consistent. Year. Consistent. There we go. I thought um, we set up our two setters to connect with our middles pretty well. Um, it was nice to see Ari getting some fire and getting a little excited. And um, yeah, I thought we passed really well and we had 11 team blocks compared to their one. So. I thought our blocking was really good. Um, it dropped a little bit in the second set, but I thought it picked right back up in the third. And um, it was overall just a really good team effort. Our offense is really spread out. We got both of our middles involved and our outsides, and it was just a really good team win. Uh, you know, for us, it's just a, we need to train this week. We need to be smart in how we train and really work on specifics. Uh, it's, we're at this time where we can slow down a little bit and, and break down practice and work on some individual things that we want to take into game. Uh, and we'll do that and then uh, get, get ready and get a game plan for, for Northridge.
Great. Thank you.